Picture this. Your body's energy plants, the mitochondria, suddenly start misfiring. What happens next? Chronic fatigue, muscle weakness, and even depression start creeping in. Sound far-fetched? Not at all. Mitochondria are not just the powerhouse of the cell, they're the gatekeepers to your physical and mental health. How does one tiny organelle hold so much power over your well-being? Stick around and you'll find out why these microscopic energy factories might be the missing link in understanding everything from chronic diseases to mental health disorders. Let's get one thing straight. Mitochondria aren't just cranking out energy. They're life's ultimate multitaskers. Sure, they produce ATP, but that's just the start. Mitochondria also help regulate calcium levels, generate heat, and even control cell death. That's right, these little guys decide when a cell has run its course and needs to be retired, ensuring that your body doesn't hang on to damaged or malfunctioning cells. But what happens when mitochondria start to fail at their job? When mitochondria malfunction, it's not just a cellular issue, it's a full body crisis. Mitochondrial dysfunction has been linked to a whole range of chronic diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and even cancer. Imagine your body as a high-performance sports car. If the engine starts sputtering, everything else goes downhill fast. That's exactly what happens when your mitochondria aren't up to the task. Let's talk disease. It's easy to think that conditions like heart disease or diabetes are just about bad luck or poor lifestyle choices, but the reality goes deeper down to the cellular level. When your mitochondria can't produce enough energy, your organs start to struggle and chronic diseases can take hold. For example, in type two diabetes, mitochondrial dysfunction impairs the cell's ability to use glucose properly, leading to high blood sugar levels and all the complications that follow. And then there's cancer. Here's something that might surprise you. Many cancers have been linked to dysfunctional mitochondria. When mitochondria are damaged, they can start producing harmful byproducts like reactive oxygen species, ROS, which can damage DNA and lead to mutations. Some of these mutations can kickstart the uncontrollable cell division that's characteristic of cancer. So, it's not just a genetic lottery. Mitochondrial health plays a critical role in whether those cancerous cells get the green light to multiply. Now let's shift gears to something that doesn't always get the attention it deserves, mental health. You might think that depression, anxiety, or even schizophrenia are all about brain chemistry or trauma, but there's a growing body of evidence suggesting that mitochondria are also key players in your mental well-being. Here's the deal. Your brain is an energy hog. It's just 2% of your body weight, but consumes 20% of your energy. If your mitochondria are struggling to keep up, your brain isn't going to be happy. Studies have shown that mitochondrial dysfunction can lead to oxidative stress and inflammation in the brain, which are both linked to mental health disorders. In conditions like depression, mitochondrial activity is often impaired, leading to low energy, poor cognitive function, and even the emotional numbness that makes life feel like an uphill battle. And it doesn't stop there. In neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, mitochondrial dysfunction is one of the earliest changes observed in brain cells. These diseases are marked by a progressive loss of function and structure in the brain, and faulty mitochondria are right at the heart of that process. So when it comes to your brain, keeping your mitochondria healthy is crucial. Let's talk about something that's often misunderstood, chronic fatigue syndrome, CFS. This is a condition where people feel persistently exhausted, no matter how much rest they get. It's not just about being tired, it's about a deep, unrelenting fatigue that doesn't go away. And guess what? Mitochondria are heavily implicated in this condition. In CFS, it's believed that the mitochondria are not producing enough energy for the body to function properly, leading to the debilitating fatigue that characterizes the condition. Imagine your mitochondria as a power plant that's running out of fuel. Everything slows down and the body just can't keep up with the demands being placed on it. This dysfunction can also trigger a host of other symptoms, like muscle pain, cognitive issues, and sleep disturbances. So, if you're wondering why no amount of sleep seems to shake off that fatigue, your mitochondria might be the culprits. The good news? You can take steps to keep your mitochondria happy and healthy. It's not all about high-tech science or miracle cures. Sometimes, it's about going back to basics. 
Here are some ways to support your mitochondrial health and, in turn, your overall well-being. First up, exercise. Regular physical activity has been shown to improve mitochondrial function and even stimulate the production of new mitochondria. Think of it as giving your energy factories a much-needed upgrade. Next, diet plays a huge role. Foods rich in antioxidants, like fruits and vegetables, help protect your mitochondria from damage. And certain nutrients, like coenzyme Q10 and omega-3 fatty acids, are vital for mitochondrial function. But it's not just about what you do, it's also about what you avoid. Chronic stress and poor sleep can wreak havoc on your mitochondria, leading to the very dysfunction we've been talking about. So, managing stress, getting enough rest, and avoiding toxins like cigarette smoke are all crucial for maintaining mitochondrial health. We're just scratching the surface of what we know about mitochondria and their impact on health. The future of mitochondrial research holds incredible potential, from developing targeted therapies, to treating diseases, to understanding how we might prevent mental health disorders before they start. Imagine a world where we can fine-tune our mitochondria to optimize health and extend life. It's not science fiction. It's a possibility that's getting closer every day. So the next time you hear mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, remember, it's not just about energy. It's about your health, your mind, and your future.